All right, it's road trip time. My buddy Chad Harvey is on his way right now to pick me up. We're heading down to the southern tip of Plaquemines Parish, the mouth of the Mississippi River, the legendary Venice, Louisiana, for a couple of days of fishing. Our plan is this afternoon to go sight fishing redfish. That's kind of Chad's specialty. He fishes a lot of the tournaments around South Louisiana. And then tomorrow we may do something crazy and actually run out to the Chandler Islands. That's going to depend on the winds, of course. We'll be staying down there at a brand new place called the Blue Crab Lodge. Looks really nice. I I've never laid eyes on it, only seen pictures. But I've had a little dry spell lately. I'm really, really ready to get back on the water. Looking forward to today. What's up, bro? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. I like your colors. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Like we're matching. Dude, you put the trolling motor back here? Yeah, I usually I, I usually like to ride it there. Really? What's okay. crazy is that uh I've been reluctant because I can't stand drilling on my boat, but um, you know the rams that hold the end. Yeah. These self-deploying ones, you got to treat them with kid gloves. Yeah. That belt is like a nightmare. Yep. I know. So you got to have one of those rams to hold the head on the front of the boat. Do you have it mounted down here? Like what? Yeah. What do you? I have okay. a bucky puck down here. You do? Okay. Yeah, right. So when I'm making long runs for my redfish tournaments, uh -huh. that's where you put it. It rides here because it's 60 pounds of weight on the transom, and we roll. Makes sense. You distribute the weight. Dude, the boat's looking good. Dude, you right on the river. Dude, it's solid. It's all concrete. Let's go take a peek. Nice place. Two rooms. Man, this is a super nice place. And you're right here on the Mississippi River. Actually, you're on something called the jump. It's kind of the jumping off spot from Venice to getting into the river. That's the river right there. So you're really centralized, close to all the action. And Chad and I are very fortunate. We got clear skies, just bluebird day today. It's windy, definitely. But Chad feels confident we can go in some of the ponds that he hits down here regularly and go find some redfish. The only thing is he's gonna make me change my shirt. He's that fanatical. He thinks actually the color of this shirt will alert the fish to our presence. So I'm gonna do that and we'll be on our way. Two launches very close to here, Cypress Cove Marina and Venice Marina. And both of them are really close to some excellent redfish action. <laughs> down in Venice and Chad says it's either gonna be good or it's gonna be epic it will not be bad he loves the conditions we got a west wind behind us blowing maybe about 8 to 10 pushing us through this pond now the bad news for me is I've done this before with Chad and he's a savage he sees a lot of fish and he casts on them quickly so my, my work cut out for me trying to beat him the fish but I like the challenge <laughs> Look at him. Oh, I'm getting something. Behind him. You're going to get it. This is fired up. He ain't budging now. Oh, there he is. Oh, dude, I broke off. You got to be kidding. <laughs> I broke off. Oh, my God. He smoked it. They love that crawl, bro. Dude. What there the hell? Go. I almost had a nick in my line, because it broke clean. This episode of Marshman Masson is brought to you by Puglia Sporting Goods. Do you think 
get that on camera? Oh yeah. Oh really? I mean, I don't know if I got the fish on camera. Oh. You never really know, but these are sticking out pretty well. Oh, get him, Harvey. Dude, you could literally probably sit in one spot and catch a limit. Oh, if you got space, you got they gone? Did they spook or they just kind of migrated the other way? We got it. When I call for you, they find a spook. Okay. When the wind blows like that, though, it's like deer hunting. Those fish can hear you. Yeah. It's insane. Like, you don't think it's possible, but it, it, it is. You've seen it happen too many times. Yeah. Bull, dude come on this way there we go what do you think he is like 22 yeah he's the ice break is what he is nice. you mind if i tag him no so i'm tagging fish for the star tournament so i'm gonna stick a tag in this one got a measuring first and he is what you say 23 and a half 23 and a half He's coming back. He's coming back. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. That really dark water up there is just real shallow or what? Grass. Just tons of grass. Is this kind of your favorite grass situation? Just sparse like this? Yeah. You get it like this, you won't find them in there. Yeah. On the outside. Right. Which is good and bad because the grass keeps the water clean. Keeps the water clean. Right. And this episode of Marsh Man Mass On is brought to you by H and H Floor Company. And by Cito New Orleans. And by Sportsmansoutfitters.com. And by Plackerman's Parish. And by Death Grip Jig Hands. That's not a sheep, that's a red. Look. You see? Come on. It's a brute. Oh, spooked. Oh, there's, a, there's a red, a bunch of reds. Get them, get them. There he is. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. He don't even know he's hooked. He doesn't even care. Dude, this fish does not care. He's going right into the power pole. I'll let him run a minute. I gotta let him know he's hooked. <laughs> Come on, gorilla. This fish almost looks like a black drum, doesn't he? It is a black drum. But the other one's red. Come on, dude. 
Like a freight train. Yeah, my other two with them were red. Yeah. Yo, Pete. Come see Uncle Chad. All right. Big old brute. That's a pig. <laughs> There he goes. He's good. So this is the third area we've come to fish. The first area was absolutely loaded with fish. We missed some opportunities, definitely got a few in the boat. The second area we went to was just filthy. Uh, we've had a west wind here for at least two or three days, and it blew a lot of this river water back into this area. What we're in now is not pristine at all. It doesn't look anything like the first area we were in, but we've seen how many, what, three or four fish? Yeah. Just uh, in a, I don't know, maybe 50 yard stretch. So we're just gonna continue through this pocket and work our way out with the wind and see if we can find any others. Oh, there he goes. Good fish, Harvey. Nice. Well done. Yep. <laughs> Think he's an over or what? Mm -hmm. No. It's a big boy. He's small. Fourth fish we see in here. It might be freaking low loader in here. Nice. Oh, right here, right here, right here. He's on to us now. You caught your last two fish on this underspin bait. Where do you get it and what do you like about it? I bought this at Puglius. This is a number three art flashy swimmer. I use the uh, the plastic, uh, which is Slayer ink, four inch. It's got the split belly in the middle, which allows the hook to sink, and it's got the spot for the, the barb to bury, to keep it totally weedless. And I mean, you like that underspin compared to a, a, a spin rate on top of the bait? Or I what? do, it's just because when you're getting in some grass like this this time of the year, you definitely got a bait that's almost completely 100% weedless. Okay, and you do put a, a little bullet weight on the front of it, right? A little bullet weight, that way, when I see a fish like we just saw, and I want to drop it on him, it swims down. All right, we just had an awesome dinner at Venice Marina. Excellent food for a marina, I gotta tell you.
Chad is backing in the yellow fin here at the Blue Crab Lodge. Our plan tomorrow is to head out to the Chandelier Islands, but that's gonna entirely depend upon the wind. Forecast just doesn't look that great. There's a flag right here and it's definitely flapping right now. We'll see if things settle down by the morning. I'd love to get out there, no doubt. Go do some wade fishing for some nice speckled trout. But if not, we can definitely stay inshore here and fish redfish, sight fishing like we did today. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson.